surprise guys i think it's going to be appropriate to uh, create a little update right now uh, as you can see i'm in the middle of nowhere and it was a nice city shot behind me all lit up <laughs> um, and i would like to talk about market timing but uh, there is also another situation that deserves a more elaborative comment and it's a situation uh, regarding my largest position uh, project called Laxo uh, with a token LYX because uh, that is having a kind of a crisis right now actually and you know as you know how it goes crisis is usually an opportunity uh, but uh, needless to say, I've also seen in my experience these mid caps uh, and small caps. I've also seen them go 75% down, crashing, and then just staying flat for six months straight. So don't underestimate also that uh, that uh, that um, the danger here. But I don't want to talk about Luxo here. Uh, but I'm going to make another video soon, probably even today, maybe uh, for the Luxo community. Uh, that uh, I would like to elaborate my findings, my opinion, my actions, etc. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking about the market timing, guys. Uh, on these walks or joggings, uh, right now it's a walk only. Uh, on these walks, it's a really good place and a really good situation to clear my head, clear my thoughts and really uh, change perspective even um, and to evaluate both sides of me the bearish side the bullish side and uh, I, I can get pretty interesting ideas here <clears throat> and one of these ideas that i'm now debating is the timing the timing of the cycle uh, so as the thing goes um, let's start with the fact that it's probably this cycle is going to be um, a pre um, similar than the last one in a way that it's going to happen in a different time than everybody thinks if you remember the last cycle every single influencer out there at the end of 2020 even as we were picking up every single influencer out there told you that the crypto will not peak before 2023 or 2022 you know nobody absolutely nobody or 99% of influencers and also the public therefore didn't or actually yeah some public even debated that it's gonna be I now I now recalled the comments that it's gonna be sooner and then all the influencers got wrecked and they got dragged again at the end of the cycle when they were all bullish in November 2021 and this time I expect something similar so I'm monitoring the influencers a lot and uh, what I kept seeing as a repeating idea that uh, they all believe that the cycle is going to peak 2025 and even the second half of 2025 actually more likely because the cycles tend to actually peak near the end of the year uh, that also has to do with uh, what the stocks do uh, probably with tax reasons I don't know what else is involved but that's just the way it is it's just a fact you can look at the charts you will discover that <coughs> uh, it's, it's near the it's q4 usually and um, so if the belief of the influencers is that it's gonna be the next year q, q4 uh, that's another supportive argument that uh, it's uh, in my opinion more likely it's gonna be this year q4 uh, and I've seen also some retail speculating that way already in the comments uh, and I'm conflicted whether I think whether I should uh, start thinking like like is the narrative changing like are people now expecting Q4 this year because if people would expect Q4 this year then it would force me to expect maybe Q2 this year <laughs> or or the next year really so at soonest but I think still that it's most reasonable to expect for me from my perspective uh, Q4 this year it's quite a long way to Q4 this year and we are already almost Q trillion we are so far so high so like what's what's gonna happen between now and then what's gonna happen between now and Q4 uh, I bet that quite few things will happen I bet it's gonna be volatile 
I don't think we're gonna stay flat at 2 trillion and then only go up uh, because we're really high already and uh, it's reasonable to expect that yet again crypto will go up the most uh, near the very end of the cycle so that leads me to another uh, chain of thoughts that uh, the valuation of crypto is not going to move much over the next months I would expect that we are 1.9 trillion as the trading view says and I would expect that we will be 1.9 trillion still um, at the start of Q3 at the end of Q3 guys so even worse uh, we still have an end of Q2 so the next six months in my opinion um, uh, when I'm just uh, projecting in my head <coughs> the next six months we're going to basically stay flat uh, and there's gonna be movements in between <coughs> now what is going to be now the movement up or movement down let's have a look at the sentiment sentiment for Bitcoin and Ethereum is pretty euphoric unbelievably actually very euphoric for Bitcoin at least for mid caps and small caps that I hold not good at all actually <coughs> Lux is having a crisis it's down 50% since like the mid of uh, January and extra is down 42% uh, maybe it's gonna be down even more because now it's, it's again it's, it's pushing downwards right now as we speak so the mid cap small caps are actually very depressed there is a huge difference now in the sentiment between Bitcoin and maybe Ethereum and between everything else kind of except for some other some gems like Chromia <clears throat> but those are exceptions let me start let me finish the video and let me uh, uh, shoot one more <clears throat> well it's not a full moon yet it's quite far from it yet but anyway <clears throat> so I don't really expect the market cap to move much and that's actually also aligned with what the stocks are the most likely to do because the stocks have been rampaging ever since they broke through all-time highs so I think that the cool down is also very likely and some return of the fear remember that, that the crypto has been actually the, the, commu the Bitcoin and even Ethereum is an extreme greed but uh, the mid cap small caps they are very depressed but uh, well you know the, they don't really dictate the overall sentiment and also the crypto sentiment is also connected to the stocks so conclusion is that uh, uh, there is probably going to be uh, within the next months <coughs> there is going to be some dramatic or some kind of a correction that is going to then uh, put all the crypto flats for some time because we just need to cool down I think uh, I believe that to be the most likely so what does it mean for me well if I think that the correction is likely what I do with my personal portfolio is that I scale down but at the same time such a sentiment as it is uh, right now in my in my projects and also in a crisis there is even a crisis in my majority position so that's not the that's not the time to scale down that's the time to scale up you know potentially even borrow but of course that's mad let's not be mad let's be reasonable so uh yeah i'm, I'm a little bit conflicted but uh, what could be happening here is that uh <coughs> the, the the ethereum is having an important upgrade in in a roughly three weeks and it's gonna go up all until then and then these uh, mid caps small caps are gonna catch up or maybe in the meanwhile even so it might be that even the next week maybe they, they will start start catching up maybe i will see my mid cap small caps go up the next week that could also be uh, actually pretty likely so uh yeah the current sentiment is just not allowing me to to scale down really uh, although uh, i think that the risk is slowly uh, uh rising uh, but 
risk is rising uh, for probably a mid term or short term let's say i will continue to watching uh, to watch my projects like uh, nxr is also quite depressed and the community is also quite depressed and that's a good thing that's also um, a proof that it's likely the right thing to do at the moment so a little bit of the thoughts about the timing and uh yeah a half year from now when we look back i wonder uh what we are gonna think about this <laughs> whether i was uh, partially correct or uh not correct at all so uh keep well and uh, i'll talk to you soon again